Hey guys, Barbecue Anytime here. Thanks for watching. Today, we are doing pork spare ribs. We've got two packs of spare ribs here. We're going to use uh, Suckle Buster's Hog Waller and also the competition rub. Um, one on each and we're going to do a taste test. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and throw some mustard down. Hog Waller. Initial thoughts as I'm throwing this rub down. I don't know if you can see it there. The Hog Waller rub actually has um, a little bit more sugar, and you can see that in the rub as it's coming out. Uh, this one does does have sugar. The competition rub. Um, and they're similar, uh, but this one has brown sugar added onto it, which you can see that already. I normally use brown sugar when I uh, cook ribs, and so uh, I like that taste, that, that profile. So, we'll see. I'm kind of leaning that way. That was designed for pork, so. Next step, let's get these on the pit. We are strictly going off the rubs that we applied. So here we have the hog waller and this is Suckle Buster's barbecue competition rub. We'll check on these guys in about two hours. We'll wrap these up. We're just gonna throw a couple pieces of butter Find a good spot to cut it open. There it is. We have super nice color, a uh, little bit of a bark going on there. And cut the one rib up. There it is. We're gonna cut one similar, get a clean corner out. Clean corner, like I said, it's two rubs there. I'm gonna get a nice, consistent comparison between the two. Still pretty hot. They've been sitting for about 30 minutes and they're still burning up. So side by side, that's what we got. We got the competition rub and we have the, the hog uh, waller. I'm going to go ahead and dig into this one first, competition rub, actually it just, just pulls apart. Okay, so like I said, no barbecue sauce, just a little bit of butter when I wrap them up. It's a straight flavor from the, uh, from the rib, uh, from the rubs, just trying to get a Comparison of a straight heads up uh, taste comparison. I like the color on this one, the competition rub. I think overall they're both really flavorful. I I really like, like I said, the profile 
from the uh, from the sugar between these two guys here. And I I honestly I don't have a straight up winner in my book. I do like the hog waller uh, for the sugar uh, and the, for the brown sugar, the sweetness that they've added to it. So if I have to declare a winner, I'm going to go competition rub. Competition rub is a, I just like the presentation. I like the coloring. Um, it's more in tune with, uh, similar profiles that I would use. It's different. Uh, like I said, I really like a, a heat in my rib. I feel like that one probably has a little bit more heat in the range. Uh, don't, it's hard to say. They're both really good. Uh, I, I can't, I, you can't go wrong with either one. So I think uh, this is a good time, stopping point. We'll get these cut up, um, get them plated for the game, which is already started. Um, Definitely will enjoy these for the rest of the afternoon. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Barbecue any time. Like I said, between these two, you can't go wrong with, with either the Suckle Busters uh, blends competition, barbecue blend, or the uh, Hog Waller. I really think they're both great products. I'm going to continue to use them, experiment. See you next time. Barbecue any time. Later, guys.